Hello, and welcome to Connecting Software in Action. In this video, we will show you how to kick off your free trial for CB Dynamics 365 to SharePoint Permissions Replicator by Connecting Software. This solution resolves the critical issue of missing permissions replication when storing Dynamics 365 documents in SharePoint. It seamlessly and automatically synchronizes Dynamics 365 privileges with SharePoint permissions making it a market-leading solution that has been available since 2015, with over 350,000-plus active users. Please note that you must be a system administrator of Dynamics and SharePoint to go through the configuration wizard. Let's get into it. To get started, head over to our website at connectingsoftware.com, navigate to the Products section from the top bar, and select for CB Dynamics 365 to SharePoint Permissions Replicator, on the product page, click on the View All Pricing and Deployment Options. You can choose from options tailored to your preferences. The first choice is our Software as a Service, SaaS, perfect for small to medium-sized companies. With the SaaS deployment, you can enjoy a hassle-free solution as we take care of maintenance and updates. The second option is Self-Hosted. This allows you to run CB Dynamics 365 to SharePoint Permissions Replicator in your own environment whether on-premises or in the cloud. For the third option, you can acquire our solution directly from Azure Marketplace and deploy the pre-configured solution to an Azure virtual machine. In the video, we will be using the SaaS version. To start your trial, simply click on the Try Free button. Once you click the Try Free button, you'll be directed to our shop. If you previously shopped with us, type your username and password and click Login as a returning customer. If you are a new customer, Fill in your information and click Next Step. Next, choose the data residence location for your SaaS configuration. Our SaaS platform is hosted in Microsoft Azure. You have two locations to choose from, the United States of America or the European Union. Your data residency will be confined to the selected geographical area. Pick the location that aligns with your preferences and requirements. Click Next Step and Place Order. Within a few minutes, you will receive three emails from us. The first email will confirm the creation of your shop account. The second email will contain your order confirmation, and the third email will include an activation token and a link to complete your registration in our SaaS. Click Complete Your Registration. Create a password for your account, retype it, check the boxes, and click Create. Now you are brought to Configuration Wizard. Give a name to your configuration. Click Next. Select your preferred authentication method. For this demo, we will be using Modern Authentication. Please insert your CRM organizational URL. You can find it by navigating to Dynamics 365 CRM Settings, selecting Advanced Settings, then proceeding to Customizations and Developer Resources. Copy the organizational service endpoint address and paste it in the configuration form. Then choose Grant Type. In this demo, we will use Client Credentials. You can either use the default app created by us or create your own in Microsoft Azure. In this demo, we will use the default app. To find the directory tenant ID, navigate to the Azure portal, go to the overview page and copy the tenant ID. Paste tenant ID and click Grant Tenant Administrator Consent. Confirm the action by logging in with your Microsoft credentials. Next, head to the Power Platform Admin Center. Within the Environments tab, choose the appropriate environment. After selecting, navigate to Settings, Users, plus Permissions and Application Users. Click New App User and add an app. Enter the application ID and select the app, and click Add. Next, select the business unit, and finally, choose a security role. The CB Replicator requires specific privileges to function properly. The easiest way to enable its operation is to assign the System Administrator role. For more detailed information about the required privileges, you can read from the user manual. Click Create. Go back to Configuration Wizard and click Test Connection. After the success message, click Next. For the SharePoint configuration, navigate to the target SharePoint site, copy its URL, and paste it into the Site Collection URL box. Choose a grant type. In this demo, we will use Client Credentials. Then click Grant Tenant Administrator Consent. Confirm by logging in with your credentials. A success message will appear. Click Test Connection. Finally, click Next. 
To activate your configuration, paste your activation token that we sent to your email a couple minutes ago and click Activate Code. Click Next. Decide if you want to start the replication process right now or after. After clicking Finish, the configuration is complete. The permissions will now be automatically replicated. Let's see how CB Dynamics 365 to SharePoint Permission Replicator works in action. Alan and William are both sales managers. In Dynamics 365, they don't have access to each other's accounts. However, without CB Replicator, William can access account documents from the SharePoint site when the account is owned by Alan. William can open, modify, or even delete documents. When we activate CB Replicator, all permissions from Dynamics 365 are replicated to SharePoint, and William can no longer access the documents or even see the folders. Let's now go back to the Configurations page. You can edit the Dynamics 365 and the SharePoint connections using the Connections button. You can also customize the user and permission mapping and create explicit folder permissions. Going back to the Configuration views, next to the Connections button, you will find the logs and you can view them by clicking the View Logs button. The following button with a hierarchy symbol allows you to activate and configure the SharePoint Structure Creator add-on, which requires a valid license for activation. With this add-on, you can create flexible folder structures in SharePoint, departing from the predefined structure. For more insights, take a look at our video dedicated to the features of SharePoint Structure Creator. From the hamburger menu, you can activate new tokens, add users, modify and edit settings, or delete the configuration. In this video, we demonstrated the process of purchasing, configuring, and activating CB Dynamics 365 to SharePoint Permissions Replicator. If you find this helpful, please click the like button and explore other videos on our channel. Thank you for watching.